Ben Hogan is known for one of the all-time greats when it comes to ball striking, but he's also known for helping us understand what it's like to swing the club on plane. Today I'm going to show you what on plane is, and more importantly, how you can practice it. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and when we look at things that we want to emulate, things that we want to do, we always look to the greats of the game. What were some of the things that they did? And Ben Hogan, not only just being a phenomenal golfer, was specifically known for his ball striking. He was just known to be a ball striking machine. And one of the concepts that he introduced in his book was swinging the club on plane. There's this famous picture of a plane of glass kind of going through his shoulders and him swinging it. So basically what we're talking about, when we talk about the plane of the golf swing, think about like a hula hoop, okay? If I had a hula hoop, a big long hula hoop that went through the middle of the golf ball and that hula hoop went all the way up at an angle and through my shoulders and I kind of swung my arms and the club along that hula hoop on the back swing and through, that would be what we might call swinging the club on plane. Now, there are a lot of different opinions on should we swing the club on plane, should we not swing the club on plane, is it even possible to swing the club on plane? I'm not here to debate that today. This is not a forum where we're gonna sit and talk about the science of the golf swing. That's not why you come to US Golf TV. You come to US Golf TV and Nick and Jordy and JT and the whole team here because we take a game that gets too complicated and we simplify it into simple things that you can do to help you play better golf. So what we wanna do is swing the club generally in a circle or on plane. So one of the ways that we work on this is with my stacker that we just developed here. So this just came out, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, it just slides right up, got a little Velcro piece in the middle there, and let me go ahead and put this on. Let's talk a little bit about what we can do on the takeaway and then on the downswing to help us swing this club on plane. So just go ahead and strap it in right there, super easy. Let me tighten this one down a little bit. Okay, so I've got two colors here, right? I've got a red and I've got a blue, all right? These are great visuals. That's why I love using it when I coach and when I teach because I can say, all right, hey, keep the blue on top or keep the red underneath or whatever. It's a good visualization, a good reference point for us as a student. So let me go ahead and just put them together. Boom, like so. Now, when I get set up here and when I swing this club back, I believe that on the takeaway, see what I'm doing there, on the takeaway for the most part, the blue stacker stays kind of on top. See that? I think this is on plane. I like that position right there. See how the blue's a little bit on top, the red's a little bit underneath. So let's talk a little bit about some of the most common faults that I see that can really cause inconsistency when it comes to swinging the club on plane. So we've described a little bit what it is. Now, if you haven't already, hey, subscribe to the channel here, ring the bell, leave a comment. You know our favorite question. We love hearing where you're from. And what it is you want us to talk about? US Golf TV, VLS Golf, the whole vertical line swing system, it's for you. It's for the experienced golfer. Okay, we're here to help you play better golf. This is the place for you. So, one of the most common mistakes, we already talked about a little bit here, is the, in the takeaway. All right, so I'm not gonna talk about that again. We've done a ton of videos on takeaway, but it's when we rotate it too far inside. So we know we wanna keep, we wanna feel like the blue stacker stays a little bit on top. Now, in the transition, okay, in the transition, I want you to feel like the blue falls underneath. Okay, so I'll do this a lot with my students when we do the stack. We'll just, we'll just do, you know me, we love, we love our three setters, right? Okay, here we go. So we take it up and see, I just, I'll just feel like in, it's dropping underneath. Now that drops the club underneath the plane, but that's the opposite of this way. So let me go ahead and do a little three setter. All right, so we're going to take it up. There's one, good. There's two. See how the blue's dropping underneath? Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and just hit one and try to replicate that feel. All right, that was pretty good right there. I liked that. Now, swinging the club on plane, whether it be Ben Hogan or a regular golfer, is an important concept of playing good golf. These little tips right here, these visuals, hopefully can help you understand what swinging the club on plane actually is, but how you do it in the takeaway and how you can do it in the transition.